Hey, what is up guys? My name is Stan and welcome back to another video. So in the last one, I installed a brand new SSD into my Mac mini. And so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Mac OS uh, onto a brand new SSD or a brand new computer that's completely wiped. So there's actually many ways of doing this. I'm gonna be doing it the easy way because I'm just I'm lazy. And as you can see here, I've got my Mac mini, which is right there, hooked up to the TV. Uh, that's how I usually use my Mac mini. And I've booted up for the very first time. It's complaining that it doesn't have an operating system. Uh, if you ever see something like this, that just means that it can't boot um, and, and the file system's corrupt or something, something's really, really, really wrong. So what we'll do is go into the recovery menu. All you need to do is, well, first you can turn off the system and then when you turn it on and after you hear the chime hit command option r to get into the recovery menu actually there's two ways to get into the recovery menu uh command r will get you into the recovery menu we need to hit command option r which will allow you to download the latest version of mac os that your system supports to be able to install if you go just to the regular command R menu, that will give you the default Mac OS. So this is a 2012 Mac mini. So that's 10.8 Alliance. So I don't want to install a very old operating system. I want the latest and greatest. Um, so that's where you use the command option R. Right now, what it's doing is it's, uh, you see a spinning earth and a loading bar. And what it's doing is it's booting off of internal chips to get to the recovery menu. And this is gonna take a little bit of time because it's not the fastest thing in the world, but uh, once it's done, you will get into the recovery menu. Now you can see here, I am booted into the system here, you got a couple options. You have uh, restore from time machine. If you've got a time machine backup, you can restore from that. And you can, or you can reinstall uh, Mac OS. Uh, that's the option that I'm gonna be going with. And you'll notice that right off the bat, this is Mac OS Catalina. So this is uh, old Mac mini. Clearly, it's, if it gives you the option of Catalina, it's pulling data from the Apple servers. Uh, and that's why you need an internet connection to be able to uh, get the latest and greatest here. And uh, being a 2012 Mac mini, Catalina is the latest version of Mac OS, that last version of Mac OS that you can install on the system. Big Sur is not compatible with uh, this system because Apple has obsoleted the 2012 Mac minis such a long time ago that it's no longer compatible. Uh, install process is pretty straightforward. You know, you can just select the drive that you want. And from here on out, it's gonna download the rest of the operating system and install the, syst uh, the, uh, the image onto the drive. This will depend on how fast your internet connection is and how fast your SSD or your, your computer is. So if you got a slow connection and you've got a slow uh, computer, it'll take a very long time. But again, this is about convenience, not about speed because we're not burning any uh, drives or we're not creating any USB drives for bootable installs. This is just, this is as simple as reinstalling a operating system as it can get really. And there you go. As you can see, this is the initial setup for uh, Mac OS. And from here, you can set up the rest of your system like normal. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helps you recover your Mac OS installation without a USB drive. Uh, I don't think I actually said this, but definitely uh, be aware that you're going to be wiping your drive and losing all the data on there if you have an existing drive already or, you know, if it's a brand new drive, it doesn't really matter. But uh, this will wipe everything and start brand new. So just be aware of that. Anyway, hopefully this was useful. My name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.